While many faith-based relationship counselors help people stay together, but there's a married couple that will help you with a breakup. Sean and Sarah Brereton are counselors with a foretaste of heaven. We have Sean with us this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, Sean, I think you are still on mute. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Can okay, you hear me? good, good. We got you. We got you. Well, first, All let's right, talk great. about the book series you wrote. How can it help people recover from a broken heart? All right, so the series is first off, it first starts off by telling people, first of all, what you need to do to let go, how to let go. And then from there, we talk about, you know, what you need to do to move on. And then lastly, we talk about what you need to do to start over. So it encompasses the whole breakup experience. And it's really important to know, first and foremost, to love yourself, pursue yourself, be in a relationship with yourself. That is crucial. And of course, that is only possible with God. So what can clients look forward to when they reach out to a foretaste of heaven? I imagine some of them are uh, in pretty rough shape sometimes. So a lot of times people don't accept the reality. The reality is that it's over. Something that you invested so much of your time, your emotions, your energy, even your money, you know, it's over. So you have to accept it. And then from there, you want to embrace the grieving process. A lot of times people kind of shy away from the grieving. They think, you know, they shouldn't cry. Yes, cry. Get it all out. Get the toxic emotions out. And then you want to entertain social support while avoiding isolation. You want to be around good, supportive people that will be there for you, that will uplift you. You know, you want to stay active. You want to get into the gym. Avoid rebounding. Seek professional help like a relationship coach. And, of course, last but not least, trust in God. And I see that you have a, a lot of Bible verses that are going throughout those books. But I do have a couple of questions. First, what is the most mm -hmm. common reason you hear for a breakup? So I don't think it's a surprise, but infidelity is one of the most common reasons. Um, yeah, common reasons for breakups. And I believe that's because people don't know who they are. When you don't know who you are, you know, you're more likely to, you know, cheat on others. You're more likely to be codependent. And you're know, more likely to be stagnant in a relationship. So I think a lot of people just don't know who they are. They don't know their purpose. Well, we will have a link to a foretaste of heaven on fox2now.com. Sean Brereton, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.